Okay, so before we start, we've got a package that's arrived that I'm going to open. It just came just before I started filming. And it's a very special package. It's the freshly grounded neon... I've given it away. It's the new freshly grounded sign. Um, I've been waiting for this for like, I think, like a month or over a month. So I'm very excited to open it. So I thought, why not start the video by opening it together? Ooh. Oh, I'm holding the wrong way. Look at that. That is going to look epic on the wall. Wow. That is sick. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's going on the studio wall. But for now, this is a Q&A. And this is the Dubai Q&A. So let's get started. I got loads of questions. And so I thought I'm definitely going to do a Q&A video. This is my first video back on my channel in a long time. I'm always disappearing. I'm always coming back. This is the most inconsistent channel in YouTube's history. Um... I don't know, man. Maybe I'll be more consistent now because like, I've got like a dedicated studio and stuff. Who knows? Um, Allah, that's who knows. Okay? So never question that, yeah? So uh, Q&A, let's get started. So I asked you guys questions. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. You guys came through as always. Firstly, like a really common question has been like, what is the process of moving to Dubai? Another really common question is, why did I move to Dubai? And uh, another really common question is, uh, ha, uh, what, uh, what will I be doing in Dubai? So I'm going to, I suppose, like, go through those questions generically first. Um, so why did I move uh, to Dubai? And then why specifically Dubai? So it, it, there's literally a multi-layer of reasons. There's not just one reason. Um, the overarching reasons are probably like two main reasons. One is because um, I felt like um, I, we had reached where we wanted to reach, uh, being where we were, and um, I knew that um, I wanted to take things to the next level. And in taking things to the next level, I thought we have to make a, a, a big move. What bigger move than to like move to the what is going to soon be the creator capital of the world? Everybody comes here, like the Formula One is now like situated in the UAE, the Cricket World Cup happens here, and um, like big tennis events and so like for sports and athletes and stuff like this is becoming the hub and so you're a lot more accessible basically and so hopefully we can that can like show in our work another huge reason was um family i wanted to give the i always want to give the best life i can to my family and so uh little things like how safe it is here for children and for generally for like children and women um, it's amazing and it's not to say that things are not necessarily safe in the UK right because I've lived my whole life in the UK and alhamdulillah all, most of you guys watching live in the UK and we've been fine um, and, and, and in some ways the, the, the rough experiences we've had have like shaped us so I, I definitely I'm not trying to shield my children um, from like having experiences to like build them uh, but that doesn't mean that I can't move them to a place where I feel like uh, it's a lot safer. Yeah, I, I think even like London isn't what it was before. Like, we even, even when we were growing up, like we've had knives pulled out on us and stuff like that. And I think like it's a lot worse now. And um, so the crime was like obviously like, it's so safe here. Obviously, stuff like weather. Um, I, I, I'm I'm 28 now. 28 sounds a lot like 30, as I mentioned in the podcast with Sam. And it's like, I feel like it's like a pivotal point in my life. And so if I was going to make a big change, I feel like now is the time to make it. Children are young. It's just felt like the right time. So there was there's so many reasons. And I could probably list like so many more, uh, but it just felt like the right time. We, we've actually been thinking about moving to Dubai for about... So I'll, I'll answer the next question, which is why specifically Dubai? Why not somewhere else? And why specifically Dubai? Um, first of all, I have... Dubai is probably the one city in the world... Uh, and the UAE, the one country in the world where I probably have the most connections and contacts, friends, uh, uh, business connects and stuff uh, outside of the UK. I've uh, worked with uh, clients out here helping them with branding before, uh, social media marketing. So it's probably the place I've visited the most outside of the UK and I'm very comfortable here. I'm typically a really homesick person. I don't like being away from home. I don't like being away from my like surroundings and my familiarity. Even little things like if I'm like lost in the middle of the UK, I know how the transportation system works. I have data. I know how to book an Uber and so on and so forth. Dubai is probably the only other place in the world where I felt that comfortable. And that's kind of like why specifically Dubai. Like, like I said, I have the most connections here. Um, of course, it's Muslim land, uh, which makes like a big difference. Like I'm, I can, like I'm a, 
three minute walk from two masajid. Like I'm, I'm like a one or two minute walk from one. And that's maybe an exaggeration, but pretty much. And then like seven minute walk from another, like a bigger one. So it's amazing, alhamdulillah, in that sense as well. Okay, so that was like, I suppose, like why specifically buy it. And then the, the big question is how, like how do you do it? How did I do it? Um, and then, so I'll answer the how, and then I'll go on to uh, your guys' like specific questions. Okay? Great. So how, how is like a huge question. Um, in terms of how uh, you can move to Dubai, if that's what you want to do, there's so many ways, especially nowadays um, with people being in like, the creative field, people being freelancers and so on and so forth. And um, so you can get a freelancer visa uh, and you can go, I think there's a website called like gofreelance.ae, uh, which you can check out. And they like basically, if you're like a photographer or um, whatever it is that you are, if you're in the creative world, uh, you can get a freelancer visa. That's one way of doing it. Uh, the, the most common way of doing it, obviously, is by getting employment. Uh, so looking for a job which you can start doing from the UK now. And then there's a third, there's probably many other ways, but the third way that I know of is to create a business here and obviously employ yourself. And that's what I did. So I um, started a business in the UAE. I have some clients here and there that I helped be, we, before with like social media marketing, with branding. Uh, basically, what we've done with Freshly Grounded, so how I set up Freshly Grounded and like how we... Uh, create clips for Freshly Grounded, how we like market it on social media, how we got it to almost 100,000 uh, followers and um, 70,000 subscribers and millions of downloads, all of that, how we did that basically, that kind of strategy and method, uh, I've helped other people with that. And so that's kind of the business that's up and uh, a lot of like online stuff, it's an online business. And then, so that's how we did the move. That's how I did the move. Okay, so that's the why and the how of the Dubai move done. One of the other things, uh, I'm going to try, I intend to try and do while I'm out here is to create more content on my personal channel. And I, I literally, you put, guys are probably like fed up with me saying that, but I feel motivated because I'm, like I said, Dubai is slowly becoming the creator central of the world. And I suppose I've just been thinking about how can I provide value? And, um, in the past, I used to obviously make vlogs, so I was thinking vlogs, and when I asked you guys what you want to see, the majority of you guys said vlogs, and I'm in this weird like conundrum where I'm in this place that's so aesthetically beautiful for camera, but if I were to do, and, uh, and, and you guys were requesting vlogs, but if I were to do vlogs, so much of it would be based around my personal life or around my family, because I'm doing so much with my family here, if I'm out, I'm out with my kids often and stuff, and I'm trying to create a balance between having, um, not having to involve uh, that personal side of things, uh, but then also still creating content. And so I was thinking, how can I provide value? And I think the balance is, is that I want to create content for, uh, for Muslims who want to, I suppose like in whatever way makes sense, fits in for their life, they want to be, I'm really trying to stay away from the word productive here, uh, better uh, when it comes to stuff like starting their own business or creating content, um, so all of the basically all of the things that I've been very blessed to be able to do over the past few years, all the hacks I've learned, the tips, the tools that I use, um, whether it's the tools that I use for stuff on my computer, like um, networking with people for for the podcast, uh, whether it's specific to doing like actual podcast stuff, or whether it's stuff like um, like the other videos I've made in the before, like before which you guys have seen, like the uh, why I think it's so important to be a morning person, uh, or like how I manage my finances and stuff like that. So I, I want to create content around that field because I think that that's where hopefully. I can provide value okay let's go to like some more specific questions so uh, cost of the visa All right so um the way i did it you the costs do kind of come out of nowhere but like your best way of doing it is to get an agent find an agent um who is find an agent who can basically do a lot of the work for you there's two the way i did it so, so the way i've done it there's two ways of um the way i've done it there's two ways of doing it. you can do it for your agent or you can do it all yourself i the agent obviously might have slightly higher fees because you have to pay agency fees but it like is so much less headache so i would recommend it but that's the only way i've done it i know a brother who did not do it that way and he says that it's worth doing it his way because you save a lot of money it's just a lot more effort um if you're like me and the effort is like you know i was trying to move my kids and my wife and everyone like I didn't want to deal with like such intricate things in a place that I'm not completely sure of how things work. So uh, I went through an agent. Um, you need 
I mean, it's hard to say how much you need because like the visa itself is like, I think like 1500 pounds, but then like you have costs of, you have to like maybe like translate documents and get stuff attested. So you you, you do need a few thousand pounds saved uh, in order to like be comfortable with it, but it's hard to say exactly how much. If you have savings already, I know like a lot of you guys who watch my channel are, are you know, like older, you're graduates, you're in jobs um, or you're on your own businesses. And on top of that, you are smart people and so i'm sure you guys have savings probably more than i had um so it's definitely possible right what i'll actually do is uh, i might put my agent the agent that i used uh details in the description if i don't don't be mad at me because they're not they're not my details to hand out but i'll ask him um because then maybe because uh, my process was really s smooth in that sense alhamdulillah how are you dealing with the weather so the weather is i'm not gonna lie very hot uh, I think right now it's like in the 40s, like early 40s, it's 40 degrees the other day at Dhuhr time. The way we're dealing with it is we're just not going out at Dhuhr time because that's the peak time when it's hot right now. Apparently it gets like a lot more, a lot hotter. So like July and August is like apparently, but um, we haven't experienced that yet. 40 is very, very hot. You go out, you, go out, you feel like it's burning, um, but you just don't go out at that time. Do you ever think about your children's education and what it looks like in Dubai versus UK? Another person, actually, another common question that's come up that is kind of like combined with this is like, is this a long-term move? Like, are you, are you, is it a permanent move? I don't know the answer to these things. One of the big reasons I'm, we moved to Dubai now is that I felt like it was the last chance of moving to Dubai before um, the kids have to go to school. So Zachary is two years old, uh, two and a half. So he has to m like mandatorily go to school at like five. So this gives us like a two year window to try it. And I feel like you need like a year or two to try something. So if we were to go next year, it would just be, it would make no sense because we'd only have like a year and then we'd have to come back in time and stuff. So I don't know the answer to that. Um, I haven't thought that long time ahead. I have obviously considered schooling in Dubai, schooling in the UK, homeschooling, all of these different options, but it's just not something that's um, a like pressing issue right now. How's your wife finding Dubai? Is she feeling as comfortable as you, as you have friends there? Um, okay, so that's a good, really good question. Uh, obviously, I think she'd be fine with me saying that she's not finding it as easy as I'm finding it because I came, I used to come a lot for business um, and then I came last month, as you guys know, to like sort everything out. Uh, I didn't want my family to like stress when they were here. So I came last month straight after the tour to like sort out the house and the documents and stuff so that when they come over, they already have, we already like have the keys to our house and stuff like that. Um, but still, of course, yes, I have like people here that I know and stuff like that and, um, also, I went through that period, like the, 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 that period of like being lost and feeling homesick and stuff. I went through that last month when I was here for like three weeks. So I think like all of those emotions that I already went through, my wife's kind of going through now. Okay. What's the cost of living uh, like there? What salary do you think someone can survive on? What's the cost of living there? And somebody else asked something like, here you go, are the prices, or, uh, are the prices of day-to-day -day products higher than in London? And somebody else said, like, what's the housing situation like and rent and stuff like that? So there's quite a few questions about cost of living. I'm, I've lived in London all my life. So cost of living in London is very high. And so moving from London to Dubai is not that much of a shock. Uh, there's some things that are more affordable in Dubai and there's some things that are more affordable in London. Um, like we were like... When we came here like a few years ago to look at things like pricing, um, things like buying nap uh, nappies and um, like formula milk and stuff like that, we were like really surprised by the prices. But actually, you can get nappies for really good prices here if you look in the right places. So some people asking for like day-to-day -day product, like I think the stereotype is that it's a lot more expensive than the UK. Uh, we found that if you shop at the right places, uh, you just got nowhere to shop. Would you say it's a major change to adjust to? The biggest thing obviously that you miss is family, of course. I'm, and like me and Omar have been stuck by the hip for almost 30 years. And so, uh, and even my other siblings, like Hamdulillah, we're all so close. And um, I used to see my parents all the time. So the biggest thing for, for us is, is family. Uh, but th there's like, a reassure, there's something reassuring about the fact that we're in Dubai because Dubai, and it's kind of like one of the other, when I said there's layers as to why we moved specifically here, London to Dubai, I think is the most popular flight in the world. There's somebody at the door and now I have no idea what, what I was saying. I literally could not remember what I was saying. If I feel like it was really, when I'm doing the edit, if I felt like it was really interesting, I'll, I'll quickly uh, add a little iPhone footage of me answering, uh, carrying on that sentence. Uh, but anyway, next question. Uh, how did you find the place you're moving to? Any websites you could recommend to find a place to rent? Yeah, so there's, uh, y if you're planning to move to Dubai, 
everyone will tell you about like propertyfinder.ae and do bizzle and stuff like that. And then you just kind of contact the agent that's like, you call the agent and then sort it out like that. But in terms of like the area, like knowing the area, I had some areas in mind, I had a few key areas in mind. And then when I traveled down to the UAE, I visited those areas and then I made a decision. And the way I found out about those areas were through friends that I know. So I've got f the uh, one area that I was interested in. I have a friend who lives there. Another area, I've got a friend who lived there. And then I kind of just visited both and I just tried to figure out what's the best for family and stuff um and then like like basically for like the kids and stuff like that what's easiest for them moving to dubai next week alone from london any advice on settling and meeting people uh yes it's so easy to connect with people here i don't know if i'm saying that because i'm like extroverted but there's whatsapp groups there's facebook groups there's telegram groups there's like uh sitting in a coffee like i've made connections like sitting by myself in a lebanese restaurant eating shawarma and someone's like oh, hey, like, I noticed you had an English accent. Where are you from? And I'm like, oh, London. They're like, oh, I'm from London. Where are you from? And literally, like, from there, like, they, they now, <laughs> that guy now uses one of Freshly Grounded's editors, like, for his own work. Like, it's, it, 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 you, you will find it easier, hopefully, to, like, have conversation and stuff, especially in, like, certain areas. How do things work in Dubai for things like healthcare, schools, visas, etc.? So that depends on how you move to Dubai. If you move... Um, on your own business, you basically have to take care of everything. If you uh, are employed, it's quite normal for employers to ha give you guys a package uh, of like uh, healthcare and um, schooling and stuff like that. that that's fairly normal. Uh, but you can negotiate that stuff as well when you're having an interview. So like it, that depends on how you're planning to do the move. The steps and obstacles you've had on your way to move to Dubai and how you overcame them. Okay, so um, I think when you do any major change in life, there's like big obstacles that you just cannot predict. And we've really, really experienced that. Uh, but I think that there's a level of like, if you think that something's better for you, your family, and you think that you're doing it for the right reasons for the sake of Allah, and you privately, like I privately know some of the reasons that I did this move, right? And... I have to make sure that my, like anything I do in life, my aim is to please Allah and that I'm trying to be sincere with it. And uh, for whatever reason, I think that it's a good move for like, example, me and my family, right? So if you're doing that, uh, there's going to be tests along the way, which there have been. And how I overcame them? Well, uh, I just keep remembering something. I keep remembering uh, a conversation with Sheikh Tim Humble and it being based around patience and prayer. And basically... If you have those two things on lock, patience and prayer, you sh you'll get through things. Uh, not that like we're going through a rough time, like necessarily, but obstacles in general, patience and prayer. So I'm trying to battle anything that's come my way with patience and prayer. Right, that is the Q and A. It's been really long, so I'm sorry for taking up your guys' time. It was going to be a long video. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be back with loads more videos now on this channel, guys. Uh, it, let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see. Uh, I want to do stuff like, for example, like why uh, Muslim Muslims should become like freelancers and uh, uh, entrepreneurs. I want to do stuff like the tools that I use to for anything like how to network and like uh, create um, connections for like your business. Um, uh, how to try and keep your morals and still be successful. Uh, but I, I do want to cater for the Muslims. I think the Muslims need specifically, because we have a, a specific way of life, I think we need a space where we can talk about and show uh, productive ways of living our lives, of being better, or, being more organized, uh, being successful, but specifically to us. That's the realm I'm thinking. And that also allows me to create content sitting down with my mic talking to you guys without having to, I suppose, um, be in situations where it's going to be tough for me to film. So this feels good. This feels comfortable. This feels happy and it feels right. And I feel older. And so, um, yeah, man, it feels good. Guys, do make sure you check out our new show, freshlygrinder.com forward slash inner circle. For, for, Freshlyguided.com forward slash inner circles where you can subscribe to it. We're doing one extra episode of Freshly Guided every single week. It's an amazing vibe. It's so much fun. And you can view it. Uh, the first ever episode we release for free. And it's an unlisted link, but I'll keep the link in our description. So you can check out that episode. If you like it, do subscribe at freshlyguided.com forward slash inner circle. It makes a huge difference as well. Um, and we're gonna you, you, you're going to have that every single week. Every single week. And we've started already. So even though Freshly Grounded actual episodes haven't started yet, we're still rebuilding the studio. We're still trying to get guests in and stuff like that. In the meantime, um, you can catch us uh, on 
uh, the inner circle. Right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you, inshallah, ta'ala soon with my next vid. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.